everyone to another tech zone tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial I'm going to be talking about the beast light mapping feature available in uh, the latest version of Unity 3D. If you don't know what Unity 3D is, you can check out the introduction video which is going to pop up your screen. Okay, so let's begin. Uh, the beast light mapping feature allow is, uh, is the latest uh, addition or feature available in Unity 3, uh, which is the latest version, um, which allows you to, uh, in simple terms, uh, create ready-made shadows for your game. Now, if you can see over here, I made a simple scene with a couple of trees and a building right here. Uh, so, now the problem is I don't really like the environment at the moment because there are no shadows at all and it doesn't really look nice. And the problem is, uh, if you want real-time shadows, you will need Unity Pro, which is going to cost a lot. So what am I going to do? Well, you can use Unity's new Beast Light Mapping feature. Okay. So the first thing you will have to do is add some kind of light or light source in your scene. So what I've added is a directional light which is pointing uh, towards the terrain if you can see right there. Now make sure you've added the directional light and uh, after, what, after that what you're going to do, you're going to go into window and select on light mapping. And now this window pops up. Next you're going to select on your directional light or your light source. Uh, Put as whatever the settings as you want. Uh, big shadows, I just put it on on. It doesn't matter. Uh, hard shadows or whatever you want. Um, and just leave everything as it is. Is uh, quality set to high. And uh, yeah, once you're good to go, you're gonna click on bake. Okay, so what it should I don't know. The theme just changed. So what it should do now is that it's going to start this process to uh, start. Um, uh, baking the shadows, okay, so this process is going to take a lot of memory. That's why it switched to Windows 7 basic Which is horrible and uh, You can see right here. It's almost done when it reaches the edge dilation filter And it's almost done and when it's done, look at your game. Now you can see some shadows have been pre-made. So you can see some trees are appearing, I mean uh, shadows are appearing from the tree and uh, the shadows from the trees are uh, overlaying onto the building. If you can see right here, look closely. You can see the shadows of the trees go, uh, on top of the building. Now however, if you want shadows to uh, come on top of these buildings and objects and all that, what you will need to do is under your project list you will need to select on that model which is right over here this is the model for that building over there and when you go down you're gonna enable the generate light map UVs you're gonna check it and I'm not sure if it's necessary but generate I mean uh, check the generate colliders option what the generate colliders option does is that um, when you're playing the game you can collide onto the object. Now someone asked me on Facebook by the head why he goes through that object. Uh, go to the model settings under the project view and you're gonna enable generate colliders. Okay so anyways generate light map UVs and you're gonna click on apply there will be an apply button probably here or at the top somewhere and uh, do, uh, start the bake process again and then you should get this. Okay so there's your simple trick in um, applying baked shadows in Unity 3D using Unity's new uh, Beast Light Mapping feature. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you did, why well, subscribe for more. So uh, thanks for watching and have a great day.